So guys, so welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are here in our room of requirement. I would like to speak with you when you have a moment. And we have a big update. Breeding. Hello, Deke. Breeding animals. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. I mean, that sounds good to me. That sounds like a that great sounds source like a of very money. good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke I've already got a some bunch in my bag. Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from tomes and scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Just incredibly convenient timing here. I swear I haven't seen Thestrals in this game pretty much up until this point. All of a sudden we find some. That last mission with Natty and uh, we're all good to go. So here we go. Tomes and scrolls. We got a wintry, cold, blistery. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Hogsmeade here. How you doing, Let's Thomas? Let's look at what we have, shall we? So we need this. The breeding pen spellcraft. We've been saving up a lot of money. And I think this is going to make us even more a money. breeding pen in the room. Let's get back to Deke with the Thestrals. I kind of want to get three small pots, five small pots. I kind of want to get some of the ooh, teas, tea shaped potion station. These are really interesting. If we get the five small pots, I mean, that's going to organize our room so much better. Let's go for it. So right now, all of our Ditney, we have, uh, I guess, five, six tables of it. And they're all individual. That's ridiculous. Get rid of you. And now I can add this. So it's okay. It's it's more efficient, but it's definitely bigger. It's about the size of two. And look at this. In the same footprint that we had before, we've now got 10 small pots and two large pots. All organized a lot better. Love that. We need to get some other stuff besides Ditney. This is all just Ditney used in our... Um, Health potions, Wigan Weld potions, but um, it's for another day. I've rescued Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure that pen. Hmm. It's adding another room for us. Let's go. Kind of a creepy forest, Vivarium? The swamp. Ah. Okay. Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Let me go get to work, baby. All right, so we are gonna conjure a breeding pin. The breeding pin can be used to breed two beasts and produce offspring. You can only put it in certain areas. I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle. Okay, how do we use it? Obese in this space. So we need to we need to release our beasts. I'm gonna add one and two. Can breed offspring for any species where you have a male and a female. The Thestral is a haunting winged equian beast that is only visible to those who have seen death. And just like that, you got her pregnant that fast, bro? That's impressive. That's quicker than I am. Okay. Thestral offspring is going to be coming in 30 minutes. I want to test this out over in our other vivarium. We've got High Wing and Caligo here. So I'm going to see if we can't... Uh Put a, a breeding pin in here. So now we could come in here. 
And High Wing's gonna have some babies. How long does it take her? About 30 minutes for a hippogriff egg. Last but not least, we've got our meadow biome over here. Ooh, what do we wanna do? Do we wanna breed moon calves or nifflers? I'm kinda tempted to go nifflers just cause I think they're so cute. Go ahead and put that down there. It's a good thing we've had males and females of everything. I'm gonna say let's, let's breed our niffler. Look at that. We're gonna have a niffler egg in 30 minutes. Now I'm not sure what's involved. They, does the egg have to be laid and then they have to like, you know, sit on the egg and take care of it? I'm not sure, but we'll find out soon enough. I should probably move these purple toads over to the swamp, huh? You guys might be a little more happy there. So we're gonna let mama do her thing. I don't wanna interject. I don't want to uh, put any pressure on her. Just let her produce those offspring. In the meantime, we have a very exciting extracurricular assignment from Professor. This is a Deary Call um, den right here. These are basically dodo birds. And uh, if we get one of these, Levioso. it's kind of like a side mission that she wants us to do. And she will teach us Bombarda, which is probably the second spell that I want to uh, learn the most. Oop. Assignment's all finished. Our fire going. No idea where you came from, why you're here, or what's going on, but let's let's calm down. The deer calls they they disappear. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We should have froze her. There it is. Got her. Okay, we want a male and a female at least, and if we could catch some other ones, I mean we I mean you know harm. May as well. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Sell them back at the uh, the Hogsmeade shop. Back at Beast Class. Look at the moon cat. Baby nifflers. The naked bellies. I mean, this would be pretty cool. Work today. Class dismissed. All right, Professor, it's Bombarda time. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. Like Crucio. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Is this something we should be learning in school? Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use, hmm? I agree. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. I Go mean, ahead. Quite the intro there, don't want you blowing Mind your hand off. Mind wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. You're really kind of scaring me a little bit here, Professor. Can't even speak. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, 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 Professor Quirrell. Well Quirrell. done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Okay. So Bombarda, right here. Deals heavy damage on impact accompanied by an explosion that can destroy heavy obstacles and hit surrounding items. Bombarda, excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. That entire pile of pumpkins just taken out in one. Heavy damage spell. I love that. All right. It's going to fit in nicely with the other things that we've been adding to our repertoire lately. Pretty exciting moment here. We are uh, 10 seconds away from the birth. Mama just got up. She's shaking around. Moving around a little bit, one second. And there it goes. That's how you get a bit. I was really, honestly, a little bit nervous as to how that was gonna work, but that was pretty good. All right, uh, baby, you, you hungry? I would imagine Beast isn't ready yet to be interacted. Oh, he wanted to take his first few steps first, so. Give you some food, mom, I'm sure you're hungry too. I'm gonna give you a little brush and two, little baby Thestral. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. What a cute little death horse. Oh, I can take Thestral hair from a baby. Sounds good to me. All right, I'm gonna collect it. And honestly, wow, you're really enjoying your belly rub. 
Again, I feel kind of bad about this, but like, get back in there. <laughs> I don't know how much better I am than the poachers, because just keep popping those things out, and we're going to be able to keep making 120 galleons per baby, so. Deke, we got it done. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. Oh. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. I don't think you need to make amends, buddy. I think you're a good person. I appreciate your help. Could hear our plants finish growing in the background right there love this man but um yeah I, I feel bad but i guess it is what it is got our mandrake i think that's the max yeah we can't take any more mandrakes we're good to go i wonder if we're gonna see a tie back to that phoenix later on in the series or something could be kind of interesting i'm glad deke is where he is now where he's respected trusted and appreciate it. It's time to leave the school again, and we are going to the very northernmost part of the Forbidden Forest. We're meeting up with Poppy. Some of you guys might uh, recognize this mission. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing is look doing just fine. Chilling the vivarium. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping. An She's eye even on a mom her. now. She's safe, Poppy. I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Makes sense. Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hauntel Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poacher's best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poacher spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Absolutely. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? <laughs> this way. All right. So yeah, we're going to shut down a uh, dragon fighting ring here. Centaurs. A centaur. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. 
If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. As are we. I think we could all agree with that. Let's go put a stop to these guys. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Hmm. I've seen a dug bog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Poor deer. Whatever the heck that thing was. Check this out over here. This is odd. What is it? What, skipping stones? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. That's so fun. Okay. So, little poacher camp out here in the wild. I'm going to grab all of our slugs. Let's see what we've got going on here. Rebellion. Why wouldn't they take their Pages. cages with them when they left? Maybe running out in a hurry? They've got pelts everywhere. Pelts. Poor beasts. Didn't leave that long Still ago. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Got a little wig and weld potion. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. You just drink this real quick. I should tell Poppy about it. Goblin metal. Anything interesting? And it looks like a hurried exit. Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I love that she's so sweet and innocent. I don't innocent. have a good feeling about this. But she's like toad. Oop. I'm supposed to be following her. How she is totally to down to get down and dirty for the animals. Line. She's Look, not scared. Down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. She is really slowing us down here, huh? Good call on the disillusionment. We're gonna go down and take care of business. This was the first, or the, really the only mission I played in um, the preview event when I played the game early. And it, I, this was, when I knew just how good this game was going to be. The sneaking around is so much fun. So it better not be a trick. What was that? Check your pockets up Don't tell me I was smoother in the preview event than I was when the full game is out. Come on, Trev. Here we go. Woo. Bombarda, look at that. Almost killed him instantly. Done deal. Still took care of business. You think they were guarding the minister for magic? Revelio. What is going on here? Got only one way to find out. We're going to have to repair this because we blew it up with Bombarda. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know you could have that happen. Amazing. Okay, I also... I mean, we're, we're going to put Crucio back on here. I'm thinking Bombarda up top. Bombarda's nasty. Revelio. Always hit everything with Crucio first. Then Bombarda. 
It's gonna do heavy damage to whoever's cursed and kind of offshoot to everyone else as well. It's gonna be good. And I think we might be able to learn another unforgivable curse here pretty soon. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Dragon fighting ring. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. I'll do my best. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Then I what Victor was sinking straight in a bargain with him. I wanted to stay and enjoy the the fight, Poppy. Have you heard from your family? Is even your brothers coming out to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, the violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood, foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done. See, they're working together, but they are not friends. Someone's going to regret trespassing. They are not friends at all. Revelio. Fuck, Beak. Some type of hippogriff. I kind of want to... Let's go back down. Is that a... There's loot there right next to. Hello? Got them both. And then we were able to get this chest as well. Okay. This just hurts me. Hurts my soul. Only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not without chained up like that. Let's even her, shall we? Absolutely. All right. Time to get to the thick of it. Let me get my uh, attack spells set on. We've got Bombarda. We've got Crucio. We've got a bit of everything. Pepodian, from the looks of it. Can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. We have an apple before the fight, just in case. I'm not sure. Ever since I cast Revelio, we were walking in slow mo. Is that everything in here? Some more coins over here, don't mind if I do. Is there stuff over here? I'm gonna be able to pick that up, but I can get that. Alright. A little Alohomora action. Get the, the wheels turning here. There we go. We need to go get some more of those moon statues to be able to get Alohomora 2. And Alohomora 3. Alright, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. I'm actually going to see how many we can get before they see us. Not many. Crucio! 
Now start cursing everyone else around you. And then we can use Bombarda, which is going to do massive damage to one cursed. And then do a bunch to everyone else as well. This is looking pretty good so far. Somebody's over there just leviosing Poppy over and over. Are you good, girl? She's not doing well. You're the one we're looking for. And Omegas can turn into other creatures and beings. Let me... Crucio! I mean, these guys don't even stand a chance. I felt like I did really well against them in uh, the preview event, but this, I mean, we're even better now. He's down. Throw this at you. Not today. Let me crucio somebody. Oh, hey, you're next to me. Yep. Good night. One more up top here. Done. And the other side. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? We are insane. We don't have time. We need to free her now before more show up. Akio. Pull the uh, chain out here. That old girl. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. You don't stand a chance. Come on now. We're friends, not food. We come in peace. I wish you could train a dragon in this. That'd be pretty cool. This way. Maybe like an in-game thing. Let me hop on a dragon like a a mount. Instead of a hippogriff, just fly around on a giant dragon. That'd be pretty cool. Just go pick up goblins. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. I'm not too worried about it. We aren't helping ourselves Just standing go back here. Class. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. I am a little bit worried about the off- Be careful, the Theophilus? I shall see you back at the castle. Theophilus. Rookwood's, like, right-hand man. I don't, uh... I don't love him, and the fact that he's already been casting Avada Kedavra and stuff at us does not bode well, but, um... We'll be prepared for whatever he brings. Look at that, dude. Beautiful. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Oh, man, we've got a bit of a... <sighs> kind of like a... Whatever you want to call it. She's checking up on us, making sure that we're doing our homework. Midterm review, I guess you could say. So we need to collect two field guide pages. One is going to be in the underground harbor. The other one is going to be in the intermediate transfiguration book. 
in the library. So this is pretty cool. This is how the first years go in here. Take the boats in and they go underneath, like into the side of the rock. What you can you see done? the boats. Yes, I said forever, but this wasn't what I meant at all. Well, are you happy now? Oh, please wait. Oh, that hurts. So that when you first come to Hogwarts and you get off the express and you hop in the little boats and you come across the lake, this is where you land. This is the very first thing you see of Hogwarts. Interesting. Got some stones we can skip. There's got to be a... Uh, Revelio. Phil got pages over there. Right here. Underground Harbor, located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard, is a landing for boats delivering first-year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. So that's the first one, I guess. Miss Weasley is... Are you good? I don't think she's good. Uh, Miss Weasley showing us, I guess, what we missed. Our stones. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on. This is, oh, I love these. Sneak up on them. Give me 500 coins. Give me 500 coins, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So now. So this is the underground harbor. We can take the elevator up to the viaduct courtyard. Wow. What a moment. Can you imagine coming in the little boats and going in this little elevator and coming out in this courtyard, seeing this, knowing you're about to go to school here? That is, I, I just, I can't even, that's my child, entire childhood right there. Just dreaming that that was real. Wanting that to be real. I'm gonna come over this way. Oh my goodness. Got peeves. Shouting off over there, but we're gonna go into the library. This time, legitimately, we're not gonna be sneaking around, not trying to weasel our way into the restricted section or anything. Looks like it's gonna be upstairs. Speaking of the restriction section, I wonder if we can go down there anytime we want now because we have the, uh... Alohomora. That book Professor Weasley asked me to... Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? I am. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. <laughs> quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. This is a young Hence, Hermione. I have created a small quiz. Little bookworm. Just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. The easy ones, huh? All right. A quiz sounds like fun. Shoot. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Sn uh, Snidget. Golden Snidget. The golden Snidget. Correct. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred Felix to as Felicis. Luck? I've got five of those in my coat pocket right Felix now. Felix Felicis. Well done. Been making those Since back in the... Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Um, the what's it called? The the Deathly Hallows. Duh. The Deathly Hallows. The wand, Correct. the invisibility cloak. According to Beedle the Resurrection Bard, Stone. The Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch quaffle. is the largest? This is too easy. The Quaffle. That's right. 
when a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. You get 150 for the false. golden snitch. Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change false. species. You're not supposed to. False. Correct. While polyjuice potion with Her Hermione. can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. Thank if you. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. You know, I think... I'm kind of tempted, but I've, I've got some... I, I've got a quarterly review. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Midterm Let review. Let me if you change your mind. We might come back and talk to her, though. I that actually the sounds kind of fun. i pedestal for you. Revelio will make quick work of this. Okay. Book on Intermediate Transfiguration. This book is designed to help guide the student who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley, Weasley often recommends it to her advanced students as a bit. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. Of light I should reading. attend Transfiguration. Okay. Well, I guess that means she finds us an advanced student. That feels good. This is the hardest subject, right? Pretty sure. That's pretty cool. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Oh, she's got jokes, huh? Now, you all know what to do. Okay. Transformation. Just a light flick of the wand. A little half you. I'm gonna be able to transform things. I think this might be a surprisingly useful spell. There is a certain ability that you can Beautifully acquire. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Love to hear that. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. You heard what I've been getting up to in the basements, I'm too? I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? No, ma'am, not at all. Not at all. I was, uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. And toast. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. All right. Always got to love good marks on a report card. Oh, now we can practice it. Ooh, it's got a long cooldown, though. That's a little unfortunate if we... Past other things that should speed it up a little Since bit. Our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. There's a lot of stuff going on with Sebastian, okay. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. 
I don't think I trust you. I, I really don't. So the, what I was referring to when I said that I think we might really, really like this transfigure spell. Level 22, enemies struck with the transformation spell transform into explosive objects. So you can turn them into a barrel, pick them up, throw them. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Poppy requested to meet us at the three broomsticks. Just a couple of classmates hanging out after class, but I guess she's wants to debrief on our little dragon escapade. Over here. What's going on, Poppy? This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. Yep. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. They're working the dragon together. that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures. Precisely. Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Why do I feel like this is not going to go well? You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. I hope Wonderful. it's that simple, Poppy. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Let's go. <sighs> Casually walking into a dragon's nest. There she is, above us. She did make it home. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. I hope this is as simple as you make it out to be, Poppy. Got some Ashwinder eggs over here. These are valuable. Useful for our potions. Make sure we get everything. Excuse me, miss. We're just here to return something that you lost. You left it behind. It's fine. Please don't eat me. The poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. That's a big old bird, too. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Orange, I have the new goggles. Huh. Bombarda! Defender! Oh, you want some too? Just saw your mate get destroyed? There it is. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten usually. Got a dead poacher over here. Where are you, Smithy? Thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantulas. You won't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago. Not to mention Borneo is not half bad to look at. Anyway, we're moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. Such relief not to be weighed down anymore, Angus. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Well, I'm glad he didn't make it, that's for sure. Repairer. Fantastic. From a distance. Yeah, she's pretty majestic. As long as she stays that far away. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. 
And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. <laughs> Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Well, we're just gonna hope that, uh... She doesn't see us. Watch your step. Or oh, just raring for a fight. I haven't seen any grab horns yet. That's something we can put in our vivarium. I'm pretty sure we've seen it in the trailers. Are we gonna have to fight a dragon? You stop it right now. I'm, I'm just trying to bring your egg back. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Can you run? Can't run. I'm just gonna roll then. Please just go drop the egg in the nest and call it a day. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the nest. She's got triple attacks now? I'm just gonna keep running and rolling. Welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I normally try, but we're well past her. Get to that opening below her. Just two now, we're good. Go, go. You want me to just drop the egg off? That's our plan here? There's the nest. We're almost there. Just toss it out? Nothing serious that I need to do? Why is everything Repair here broken? I wonder why. Definitely not because of the dragon acting out. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. This is her nest. It's like the opposite of Goblet of Fire. It's all right, Mama. We brought it back to you, it's fine. Maybe a little pat. That's a good girl. Oh. Okay then. Yeah. Well. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. <laughs> Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Back at the castle here, we've got a couple friends we want to catch up with. Natty's mom is to not speak with me, happy. I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natty Natsai. called us to help with this conversation. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. The she sent me an told. owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! She's getting grounded? My little gazelle, 
You are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebileland, Father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Mm. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am oh. gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. Will she that teach us how, how to I do that? to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. I don't think anybody Were can do it. I think you born an Or he... did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. I was good. Then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight. Then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. But Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. You had to keep a mandrake leaf in your mouth for a month? Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. I didn't know any my of this. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. This is cool. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. I don't think there's ever and a time where I would say to that. view the world from a different perspective. I don't... Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. You know, I think she's not wrong. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Hmm. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. Do as I, I say, not as I do. I act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. I've always got your back. Don't you worry, Natty. All right. We are off to a very important nice to see you, my conversation down a lot deeper than this here divination tower. So deep, in fact, I almost forgot how to get here. We need to go to the Undercroft. Because somebody has been reading Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. And I think I can guess where this is going. And I think I like where it is. How you doing, Sebastian? You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Interesting. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. I and mean, I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. 
And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. I just want to when do what's I know right. More, I shall send an owl. I want to do what's right. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I'm I glad I chose the choice I did. Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. That sounds it terrible. Is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. I can't make any promises. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian gotcha. pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It I ain't no snitch. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just trying to learn Nevada Kadat. I was hoping we were going to come across Imperio or something right there, but... Uh, Gotta put some more time in first, I guess. Soon enough, our time is coming. 